In this video I'm going to show you how to get historical price data from stock charts. I'm going to show you the type of chart you need to use, how to get the data, how to download that data and then how to export it into Excel and transform it so it's usable for Excel. Stay tuned. The first thing you need before you can export data is a subscription. Now I have this extra subscription level which allows you to view historical price data but does not have an automated export function which you get with the pro subscription but you can still easily get this data and I'm going to show you how you can do that. I've opened up the chart that I'm interested in here and you'll see that I have chosen sharp chart so if you don't know what that is you use the drop down menu here and select sharp chart and you search for the symbol that you are interested in. So I have my chart of data here and I'm going to scroll down to a pretty well hidden link here that says past data. I'm going to click on this and you can see I've got the historical price data of Bitcoin USD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor at the top here and I'm going to scroll all the way down back to 2014. Highlight all the data and press Control C to copy it. Now I'm going to open up a blank notepad. I'm going to press Control V. And I'm going to save it as BTC USD. So I now have the data. I'm going to open up a fresh Excel spreadsheet, new blank workbook. And I'm going to go to the data tab here. I'm going to use the automated system from text CSV. And it's going to prompt me to enter the file that I have just created. So Bitcoin USD, you can see it here. And I'm going to get an opportunity to look at the data and the format for the data. And Based on the first 200 rows, this looks absolutely fine. So I'm going to click on load. And it's created a query, Bitcoin US dollar, and I've got about 3,000 rows of data. So first thing, you can just save this. And you've got the data, and you can do, what it, do with it what you will. But... I'm going to process it very slightly before I save it. So for a start, I don't need the day of the week. And then when I look at this thing here called column two, I can see it's a date format, but it's not a format that Excel reads natively. So it does not identify it as a date. And this may be fine for your purposes, but if you want to investigate the dates, plot this over a longer time period, you might want this in a usable format. So highlight here press control f and i get the find and replace dialog i'm going to switch on to replace i'm going to replace the hyphen with the forward slash and i'm going to click replace all that was quick all done and you can see now we have a readable excel format but there's one further thing if you have if you are based in the US and you use the file format month, day, year, which is the common format in the US, this data will load correctly. But you see for me, you might have noticed for the international date, or what I describe as the international date format, which is the other way around. We have the day first, then the month, then the year. You can see some of these dates are not being read correctly. These ones here. So. You can stop here, you can save it if you are based in the US, but if you're based anywhere else and you want to transform this data, you can do that super quick as well. So we're gonna go back onto the data tab. and We use this thing called text to columns. We can click on next, we can click on next again, and we're gonna tell it what the date format is. So it thinks it's date, month, year, but indeed it is month, date, year. So, that's all I'm doing. I'm selecting date, month, day, year. I am clicking on finish. And you can see all the dates all the way down have jumped over to the right. 
This means that they are in Excel date format and I can tell that by if I now go back to formatting. That was not a formatting issue but if I go to formatting now you can see Excel can read these correctly. Now all I need to do is save it either as a CSV BTC USD either as a CSV here and scroll down and choose the right format or as an Excel workbook if you want to use this to do your analysis in. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this about backtesting trading strategies, about developing new strategies and about analysing the financial markets. For more information about trading the financial markets please go to tradeinformed.com.